Hey guys, it's Saturday. Time to recap what we've been talking about. We've been talking about the glory revealed uh, by the gospel of Jesus Christ, of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And um, I'm Keith Brown. This is Tack Room Devotional. Now, tomorrow's Sunday. Go to church. Uh, man, fellowship with other believers. Begin to get into this word and begin to know it. And, uh, and, and also go back and study what we've studied this week. Man, this is a good teaching. Okay, first of all, we found out on Monday that we are, our sufficiency comes from God and God alone. Remember, Jesus said that you can do nothing of yourselves. It's only through him. So our sufficiency comes from him. But on Tuesday then, we found out that we are ministers of his new covenant. We are, we are called to minister his new covenant. Now, I, again, if you just look at yourself... <laughs> There's no chance that you and I can minister, be ministers of the new covenant. But remember, our sufficiency comes from him. Amen? And so because of him, Jesus said, all power and authority has been given unto me in heaven and earth. Now you go and in my name or in my authority, go and make disciples and teach them the things that I've taught you. Right? And he also tells us to lay hands on the sick and cast out demons and, and, um, and preach that the kingdom of God is at hand. We are ministers of the new covenant. Now, we also found out that um, this ministry is revealed to us through his spirit. I, I want to read some here. Let, let's, uh, uh, let's pick it up with verse 5 first of all. It says... Um, uh, not that we are sufficient of ourselves to think of, of anything as being from ourselves, but our sufficiency is from God, who also made us sufficient as ministers of the new covenant, not of the letter, not of the law, but of the spirit, for the letter kills, but the spirit gives life. And once again, see the new covenant, we are ministers of the new covenant, and that is revealed through the spirit of God. Uh, I, I want to take you and show you something in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 2. I've, I've shared this many times before, but I think it's really important for you to see it right now. Verse 6 says, However, we speak m wisdom among those who are mature, not the wisdom of this age, nor the rulers of this age who are coming to nothing, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery, the hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages for our glory. Now you say, but Keith, he speaks the wisdom of God in a mystery. You have it jump down to verse 10 and it says, but God has revealed them to us through his spirit. Revealed what to us? He has revealed his mysteries to us through his spirit. See, it's through his spirit that we have an understanding. It goes on to say right after that, it says, For the spirit searches all things, yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man except the spirit of a man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the spirit of God. Now watch this. Now we have received not the spirit of this world, but the spirit who is from God, that we may know the things that God has freely given us. Okay, so here it is. This is the ministry of the spirit, spirit to the, the, the ministry of the spirit to the saints. He reveals the gospel to you and I, so that then we can share it with others. But it's only through His Spirit. Our sufficiency is in God, right? We're ministers of the new covenant, but don't worry about it. The Holy Spirit will reveal these things to you and I. And then we looked. We we read on, and we find out. But the, the ministry of death written and engraved on stones was glorious so that the children of Israel could not look steadily at the face of Moses because of the glory of his countenance, which glory was passing away. In other words, the old covenant, there was a glory with the old covenant. But it was passing away. away. Why? Because there is a new covenant that's coming. Now the old covenant, when Moses went up there and God was giving him the Ten Commandments, the glory of God got on his face so brilliant and so bright that when he came down to the people, they couldn't look at him so that he had to put a veil over his face so they couldn't look directly at his face. Now, the Bible goes on to say, for the ministry of condemnation had glory, the ministry of 
For if the ministry of condemnation had glory, the ministry of righteousness exceeds much more. For even what was made glorious had no glory in this respect because the glory that excels. For if what is passing away was glorious, what remains is more glorious. So what we, what we talked about was the fact that the old covenant had glory, but the new covenant has so much more glory. Amen. And then if you read down a little bit for, farther, re, look at verse 12. Therefore, since we have such hope, we use great boldness of speech. Unlike Moses. Now look at verse 14. But their minds were blinded for until that day, until this day, the same veil remains up lit, un, unlifted in the reading of the Old Testament. When they read the Old Testament, they still have a veil over their face. They still can't see the truth. Why? Because they have not accepted Jesus Christ. See, it says, but their minds are blinded for until this day, the same veil remains unlifted in the reading of the Old Testament because the veil is taken away in Christ. It's when you accept Jesus Christ as Lord, the veil is lifted. Now the Spirit begins to minister and reveal the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. All right, and I gave you a testimony about a Jewish man that gave his life to Christ. And the next time I saw him, he goes, wow, the New Testament is so real. Christ, or Jesus, is the Christ. It's right there. I can see it now. But he couldn't see it prior to that. Amen. Now jump with me to verse 17. Now the, spirit, now the Lord is spirit. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is a liberty. But we all, that's you and I, with unveiled faces, those of us who are saved, with unveiled faces, beholding as in a mirror the glory of the Lord. We look at ourselves and the glory of the Lord is on us. Why? Because we're ministers of the new covenant and with the new covenant a greater glory comes. Jesus prayed and said, the glory that you Father have given me, I've given them. Let me just finish with this. But we all with unveiled faces, beholding as in a mirror, the glory of the Lord are being transformed into that same image from glory to glory, as, just as by the Spirit of the Lord. Boy, if that doesn't get trip your trigger, there's something wrong. Jesus loves you. I love you. Go to church tomorrow. I pray that God would richly bless you to diligently seek him and serve him.